okay all my fellow Kettlewell fans. Um, this video is to show you how you can test all of the colours that are on the current Kettlewell website up against your face and we're going to build this with PowerPoint so hopefully you have that at home. The first step is going to be to take a photograph of yourself. And here is my photograph. And as you can see, I'm standing right in front of the window. <laughs> those are the neck curtains behind me. Don't worry about that. We're going to get rid of those in a moment. And um, you need to find a way to get this to the computer where you're working. So you can send it to yourself as an attachment on an email. That's one easy way. Or you, can, um, you may have some other file sharing method that you prefer. OK, let's go over to the laptop now. OK, so we start down here by left clicking on the Windows button in the bottom left hand corner and then scroll down to where you have PowerPoint um, on your computer. OK, and then we'll double click on that and launch it. <coughs> OK, now at this point, if you have Office 365, um, then you'll have all of the features that I have. If you have a different version, an older version, you might not have all of them. I'm going to choose a blank document, double click on that. OK, right. Now then, the first thing we want to do is to get rid of this title slide because we don't want that. So I'm going to right click on that and say delete slide. There we go. OK, if you come to new slide, we want a blank slide. That's a, a nice place for us to work. OK, um, so the next thing you need to do, we've got our blank slide here. Let's go and get that photograph that we took earlier. You want to be in the Insert tab. There we go. And um, we want a picture from this device. And you're going to have to find where you stored your photograph. Uh, now then, I saved mine in a folder called... Kettlewell Projects. There we go. And there I am. OK, so we're going to insert that. <laughs> Don't worry about it looking a, a little large um, at this stage. We're going to change that. Um, I think we do want to make it smaller. So left click on the photograph, come up to the corner. And if you hold the shift key down on your keyboard at the same time as you move this, it keeps the proportions um, really nicely. And then I'm going to left click and put that in the middle. OK, now here is where we add the AI bit. Um, if we click on the picture, you will see there is a menu option, which is picture format. If you're not clicked on the picture, it won't be there. So if you can't see it, click on the picture and hopefully it will appear. Click on picture format and you have on the left hand side here an option which is remove background from this photograph. OK, so click on that and you can see it's identified all of the things behind me. It's left my my skin. Um, I chose a V-neck top because um, that's the shape that I normally wear. And um, as soon as I click it, it will get rid of all of these other things in the background. Um, now, then when I've done this before and I've had a big cheesy grin on my face and my teeth have been visible, um, then it's suggested my teeth were part of the background and it's recommended deleting it. And if you find that, um, you've got these tools up here which are mark areas to keep or mark areas to remove. And you can just left click on that and then pencil around. Um, you don't have to be too precise um, because what it will do is find the edges and, and get rid of them for you. Um, I don't want that, so let's just click up here, undo. There we go. <laughs> when you're happy with the image, come up here and where you see the tick, press it and there it is. There's my photograph isolated. We're going to make this quite a bit smaller in a moment so that we can use it with the pictures. So uh, for the moment, let me just do that a little bit. Don't worry too much about the spiky edges. Once it's much smaller and much more usable, oops, much more usable. Uh, there we go. That looks fine, doesn't it? OK, so next we go to the Kettlewell website. So here on the Kettlewell website, I am going to go to Shop by Colour. And I know that I am a summer palette. 
Um, so I'm going to go there. If you're still working this out, you might want to try a few different colours. Here we go. Right. OK, now then, uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so that I've got just the colours in view. And I want to capture this screen here. So you either have a print screen button on your computer, or if, like me, you have two screens, you might need to press Control, Alt and print screen at the same time on your keyboard to get these um, to capture this. OK, so if we press print screen on your keyboard, it's up on the top bar usually. Uh, then if we leave that and come back to PowerPoint, um, if I have my cursor in the space, right click and press paste. There we have the, the website um, there. OK, now then, this is quite a large image and I want to trim it a bit. So again, making sure that I've got the image clicked and I've got picture format. Um, I am going to use the crop tool and that is over here on the right hand side. Just click on it once and you'll see that these little black lines appear. Um, you can either drag it in by the corner and that kind of keeps the proportion of the picture. Um, or you can drag it in by the edges, which sometimes is a bit, ooh, there we go, easier to do. Uh, and I want to make sure that I haven't got anything at the top, but I do want those names at the bottom so I know which colours I'm talking about. When you're happy that you've got just the colours in frame, go back to the crop tool and left click again on exactly the same button and you've got a much smaller image. OK, so at this point, you could just start dragging your photograph over. But if you have a look, it's behind the, the um, image of the colours because we added that afterwards. Click on your photo, um, go to bring forward and click on bring to the front. And then oh, there you are. And you can from here start to have a look how some of these colours suit you. So here's me with one of my favourites, soft white and pink ice. Um, and I can try out a few colours. Here's one I've been thinking of buying, um, cashmere rose, but actually I don't think that's doing me very many favours. Um, so you can stop at this point and just continue to copy and paste over the colours and try them out. Um, Let's say you want to do something a little bit more than that. Um, we will carry on with the second part in a moment. OK, so I'm going to create a new slide um, and I am at the home key. Make sure this is the one underlined home and I'm going to click on new slide and blank. Um, a blank slide. Here we go. I am going to go back to the website. Let me get some different colours this time. Let me get those ones. Uh, that's a nice selection. Okay, again, I'm going to print screen to get a copy of that. Close that window, right click, and then paste. And I'm going to crop that photograph, crop that image. Go and let me put here. Okay, and then I'm going to press crop. So that's got my colours up there. Um, I'm going to click back on this slide here. Let me get that one back. Okay, I'm going to click on my image, right click, copy, left click on this slide, left click again, right click and then paste. There's me. Uh, oh, we don't want those design ideas. Let's get rid of them. Okay, I think I want to make myself a little bit smaller. Uh, there we go. That looks about right. Maybe a bit bigger. There. Okay. Now then, if I right click and copy, and then if I press control V, uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, Then I've got lots and lots of copies and I can see myself simultaneously in all the different colours um, and I can decide which ones suit. 
it's probably a good idea at the moment, at this point, to, um, to remind you that um, although this gives you a very good idea of some colours that are going to look good on you, um, you may well find that um, colours digitally are impossible to reproduce exactly the same as they are in fabric. So bear that in mind. This is not going to be a perfect science. The technology just isn't there to make sure that the, the colour here is identical to the colour you'll see on the fabric. And, um, and also, of course, different fabrics will have a different effect. But I can have a pretty good idea here of some colours that perhaps are not that great for me. Um, soft burgundy, I don't think is doing me any favours. Um, but there are some here, um, like damson, that I think are quite nice. And um, uh, what's that? Cassis, that I haven't thought about before. OK, so that's another way that we can compare. Um, and then there's one more thing I'll show you in a moment. OK, so I'm going to create a new slide. I'm in the Home tab, New Slide Blank. There we go. And then I'm going to go back to the website. Let me get the last colours. There we go, or some more colours. I'm going to print screen to capture those. Close that. Left click there, right click there, paste. Uh, now then, I want to have two copies of this, so I'm going to paste again. You can't see them, but they are, can you see, they're behind each other. Uh, I'm going to crop them to different sizes. So um, let's say I have decided that I would like to um, try a new colour. Um, I know I've got some flint in my wardrobe already. Uh, so I'm just going to isolate the colour that I have. There we go. And then crop. And um, I know that I also have, um, I have charcoal. I like that colour a lot. I like my... Um, I like my neutrals, so I'm going to left click on here, crop again, and um, there we go, isolate the, uh, the charcoal. Okay. Um, and then I can have a look and see how a new colour that I might be thinking of will go with these, with these two. So, okay, let's say that I am thinking of buying um, something in lavender, light lavender. So let me go back up here um, because I think ice lavender, I think that's quite a nice colour on me. So I'm going to left click here first to highlight it, right click and copy. Come back to this slide here where I've got the colours I already own. Paste. I am going to click on that so I've got picture format. I'm going to prop it so that I've just isolated ice lavender. And I want this to be quite a close one because I'm going to, in a minute you'll see why. Okay, and then crop. Um, and then I can see how this colour looks with the things that I already own. So um, I can, let me make another copy of that paste. Let me go and get a copy of my face. <laughs> I look so much better when I'm small. <laughs> paste, there we go. Okay, let me just crop that a little bit further so that I get rid of that. Um, and when you crop a set again a second time, if you have a look, you've still got all of those other colours here. So you can actually move it around and try um, very quickly. If you just left click and drag, you can try all sorts of different colours without having to re resize or recrop. Uh, in this case, I do want to recrop because I just want to get rid of that name label. There we go. Uh, so I can see, um, oh, that's quite nice as a scarf. Perhaps I might like it. Um, <clears throat> let's recrop that one. It's a bit smaller. Um, or you can also have an experiment to see would it be better as a top? Um, should I buy a top or should I buy um, a bottom? <laughs> and I think, looking at this, I think it looks a lot, lot nicer as a scarf, but you can see then how these items go, how these colours go with the, with the clothes that you already have in your wardrobe, um, which are, for me, that's the most useful, that's the most useful thing I do with this particular tool. Okay, I hope that helped.